I'm only 12 away now from finishing out Crouch. All right, I'm gonna count how many I need because oh, I need 12 shit. now. Uh, These pillars? Yeah, pillars, and then like if you follow the pillars, there's like three open rooms, kind of like zone that. Is that area. actually what that's called? Pillars? I call them pillars. Yeah, those are pillars. You can call them pillars so. too, but. Two, ten more. Behind you, maybe Three. or not. Four. Five. What are you doing? Counting my crouch kills. Oh. And yes, I'm getting them that fast. Six. Seven. Oh my God. Jesus, relax. Eight. <laughs> Can you leave some for us? No. Jesus Christ. Nah, oh wait, no, that's not a crouch. <laughs> Ten. I'm about to take some of these kills. <laughs> not you! I'm about to take some of these kills, goddammit. Bro. <laughs> ah, I was reloading. There's multiple guys! I thought I had a snip shot, but I had a flash. Dude, 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 I went 14, <laughs> 14 and 0 round right there. I think, I, don't, I think I might have got all my, <laughs> I I got all my crunch. So you got a veto. <laughs> no, I don't have streaks, remember? What's up, guys? My name is Sharp, and today we're bringing you another best class setup video, and this time it's going to be for the MP7. I know what you're probably thinking. You watched the MP5 video, and that video was trash. I know. I'm sorry. I rushed to put that one out, but we're going to take our time with this one. We're going to show you guys the class setup on the screen here. This video is going to be short. Oh, uh, so we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. So what's really important are the mon the combination of monolithic suppressor and FSS recon, the muzzle and the barrel. Together, these decrease the damage range. Did I say that right? Decrease? I think it's decreased. If if I said it wrong, you know what I mean? Uh, if you watch Turbo Man's video, um, he did a test with these attachments and it made no difference. Uh, it didn't do what the attachments said they were gonna do. However, I think between now and that video, uh, they patched the attachments to where they actually work. Um, I'll try to put them on the screen here. So I didn't do a whole bunch of testing like he does, but I, the max four shot distance isn't too big, too big of a difference. Um, but what's really big is the max five shot distance. I'll put it on the screen here. I'm, I'm just talking so I can't actually see what's going on, but I'll put it on the screen. So monolithic suppressor and FSS recon. Uh, and while I'm talking about this muzzle, I'll go ahead and say it now. So this monolithic suppressor, I think you get it at level 50, 50, um, until then I would use, or not, I would, I did use the tactical suppressor. I was trying to remember which one it was, but I use a tactical suppressor until I unlock the monolithic suppressor. FSS recon for the barrel. Uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the lasers. I'll use this in the early levels before I unlock any attachments. And then I absolutely hate using these green lasers because some people say you can't get spotted. I feel like I die all the time. Anytime I put these on, I feel like I get spotted and immediately die. Optics, oh, excuse me. There's no reason to have an optic on any SMG in this game. I'm gonna say that one more time. There's no reason to have an optic on any SMG in this game. Oh, well, sharp, but I can't shoot. No, get back, get good, son. No optics. Stock, a lot of people run no stock because of the movement speed and aim down sight speed. Personally, I do not use this. I rather use, use it for one of the other attachments because of dead silence. Dead silence, you get an insane amount of movement speed. I don't know the exact number, but that is my primary movement speed. And every time you get a kill, it resets back to 100%. So as long as you can keep dead silence up, you're good. You don't need the movement speed from no stock. And down sight speeds, it depends on who you are. If you have the reflexes of a god like me, because you're a shop shooter, you don't need the extra aim down sight speed. And I'm not a big fan of losing recoil control. Uh, lastly, it, not lastly, what am I talking about? So uh, I'll say this first. So the ammunition, I do not prefer using a larger mag because of the negative side effects. I rather use sleight of hand instead of a larger ammo because 
Sleight of hand is just as good as having a li larger ammo. You just reload it faster instead of having more bullets to shoot in one go. So i rather have that than the negative side effects of the mags. For the rear grip, we're going to go with the stippled grip tape. Uh, only because the other ones aren't very good at all. The aim stability only affects you if you're aiming down the sides, corner camping. So if that's you, knock yourself out. But aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Huge for running around with an SMG. The underbarrel is going to be the Merc 4 grip. I use this on, I think, all of my SMGs. Uh, recoil control and hip fire accuracy. For the, for the tight situations where you turn a corner and you don't have time to aim down the sight, you just spray your gun, hip fire, easy kill. Uh, yeah, Merc 4 grip. That's what I rock. And then I just got gold on this gun. So we'll be working on the next gun. The next gun is going to be... Uh, what am I working on now? The P90. Oh, before I forget. So what I use for my other loadout options, for my secondary, I use the Pila uh, launcher only because a lot of people get UAVs, VTOLs, chopper gunners, whatever. And so I like being that extra support player and I don't really use the secondary to begin with. So I'd rather have this lock rocket launcher for when somebody does get something like that. And you can easily shoot down easy points and it helps you level up, get experience, things like that. My perks... I use scavenger for my perk one, hardline for my perk two, tune up for my perk three. Let me explain. Tune up for obvious reasons. You get your dead silence 33% faster. Okay, enough said, 33% faster. Hardline, one less kill required for your kill streaks. And I say that's important because I use specialists, okay? Let's say I, I take off hardline, okay? Right now it's one kill, three kill, five kill, and I believe seven kills and you lock all the perks. So if I put a ghost, now it's two, four, six, and then eight. So one less kill to unlock every single perk is pretty big in my opinion. And you only need one kill for ghost. So why, why run ghost when you can just run hardline and get one kill and get ghost? Scavenger for obvious reasons, keep that ammo up while you're running around the map. Claymores, people say they're not as good as anymore, but I, I still use them to drop them on our flank just for our team to help just to help our team. Claymores, and I don't really like using the other stuff. Some people use C4s. I find it hard to use C4s on PC personally, but I stick with my Claymores and then obviously Stim. So if you guys enjoyed that video, I would appreciate it if you guys left a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I will be doing more best class setup videos and funny clips, montages, highlights, things like that. Um, and I don't think I'll have anything after this. I think this is going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.